Sky Mobile sponsors the transfer window on Sky Sports News. Uh, our senior reporter, Melissa Reddy, joins me now to talk Liverpool. Uh, Melissa, hi. Let's start with Gravenberg. We heard the, the comments from Vinny there, the quotes on the website. He says Liverpool's the right club for him. Is he the right signing for Liverpool? Yes. Liverpool are banking on the potential of the player they fell in love with when he was at Ajax. We revealed on Sky Sports News last summer that he was actually on their midfield shortlist of three. The players they really wanted that they felt could grow into potential game changers. The other two names on that list were Bellingham and Chouameni, and we know how it turned out for them. But Kravenberg decided to go to Bayern. Instead, they made a very strong pitch for him. They were straight out of the blocks. It didn't turn out as expected there. They prefer Kimmich and Goretzka in their midfield. I was told it's very political there around the starting lineup. And so he only made six starts last season. But Liverpool are thinking we're going to discount what happened at Bayern because he wasn't given a fair crack. We didn't see what he was capable of. What we saw in the player at Ajax was somebody who's very physically imposing, who's an elite ball carrier, who can aerially give teams an advantage and, and dominance in that regard as well. His versatility in that he can play on the left side of a double pivot, he can learn to play a single pivot, he can be a number eight, a very dynamic number eight. Jurgen Klopp feels that there's so much to work with. He's 21 years old, he's got a lot to learn. Dutch players, total football, they're very skilled at adapting positions. Klopp saw that himself changing Ginny Wijnaldum from a number 10 to a number six. So lots for Liverpool to work with. They're pretty happy with the deal. In April, we reported on Sky Sports News as well that Kravenberg was enthusiastic about steering his career back on track, moving to Anfield, working with Jurgen Klopp. Bayern's position all summer was that he isn't for sale and they needed to sh sort out the shape of their squad before they reconsidered their position. Liverpool famously went to work on other deals like Casado and Lavia, which didn't come off. But they now got one player that they chased for a very long time, and I think we're going to see why they were after him for so long. It's interesting. There we are, Liverpool doing business in the last hour or so of the window. I think back to the start of the summer, they were one of the first teams out of the blocks in their transfer dealings. What have you made of the summer overall for them? I think if Liverpool are being critical of themselves, they'll say that the balance is still a little bit off. There's a lot of offensive power in that team, not a lot of offensive protection. And the defensive side is a little lacking and concerning. With Gravenberg, maybe over time, they feel that he can develop into a proper number six, more of a destroyer. They can teach him that side of the game. But in terms of what they've added, the, the versatility and the opportunity to enhance their creativity and their attacking output. Suboslai, for example, I think he's been one of the standout stars in the opening weeks of, of the season. He's really, really impressed me, especially without the ball. Liverpool went down to 10 men and he was doing the work of two midfielders anyway. I think they'll be pleased, but not. they know there's some weaknesses they haven't corrected.